The complaints over high gas bills continue for Summit Utilities customers. We sat down with Attorney General Tim Griffin today. His office continues to look into problems ever since the gas company took over for Centerpoint Energy. Mostly these complaints are coming from people who got very high estimated bills when their payment system changed. This month, some say they received their bill for February and it still had their January balance on there. Griffin says that it affected people who had automated payments set up and those customers will not be double charged for January. January. But ultimately our goal is to make sure everybody gets the credit for the money they paid and they only pay for what they use. We can't make the price of gas go down. The price of gas has gone up about 35 percent over the last year. The Attorney General adds that with more than 167,000 Summit customers in the state, every case has to be looked at individually. If you've got a complaint that you need filed, you can do it by calling the Attorney General's office. All this puts a new spin on the saying, cooking with gas. Local restaurants are seeing their bills skyrocket. Tonight, TH311's Jalissa Garza spoke with two business owners and shares how they're navigating the increase. Gas stoves are essential for restaurants like the Root Cafe. And it's not just like running a gas stove at home. These are, you know, four or five times the amount of uh, BTU output. Because they use more natural gas than the average household, owner Jack Sundell says they expect a higher gas bill. But recently, it's been much higher than normal. We've seen an increase of about 30 to 40 percent uh, in our gas prices. And, you know, that may not sound like a lot, but, you know, you're talking about Three or uh, three or four hundred dollars on a thousand dollars. This isn't the first time his business has had to navigate challenges, but he says this problem doesn't have an easy solution. When it comes to hiring or supply chain or whatever, you know, we try and figure out a, a way to deal with the problem. Unfortunately, when it comes to natural gas, uh, you know, Summit Utilities has basically a monopoly in Little Rock. We don't have another gas provider we can go to. The Root Cafe isn't the only restaurant noticing this price increase. Here at El Sur, the owners tell me they've noticed the same thing in the past few months. Looking at the bill from December and like November, December, and like the difference, it was like almost three to four hundred dollars difference. Owner Luis Vasquez brick and mortar space has only been open for seven months, so he's still getting used to the bills. He wasn't sure what was the reason behind the increase, thinking the weather was to blame. Yeah, I don't think two weeks of really cold weather is going to make a difference of almost four hundred dollars in your gas bill. But now that he's aware and not the only one, he plans to keep an eye out. But at the end of the day, both owners say they'll just have to deal with it. I guess it's an expense we have to take because we need the stops. <laughs> In Little Rock, Julissa Garza, THV 11 News.